Wow, what a what a what a cute little drawing. I take that back immediately. Oh, oh. No, not flashlights. And they're gonna make me go through the cornfield with it, aren't they? Oh, hello? <laughs> Alrighty guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today we are playing They Are Here, an alien abduction horror game. Now when it comes to horror as a genre, one thing that absolutely terrifies me is aliens. War of the Worlds as a kid absolutely messed me up. Signs as well, terrifying movie, but the premise is so cool and so great. So the fact that there's a game kind of like that is, uh, it's making me a little bit nervous, but I'm sure we'll have a great time. Unexplained phenomenon occurred at the Grey Woods farm. On the night of August 7th, the Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him, and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What was it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Greywood's farm to take a photo and make a report for the local newspaper. Well, the premise and setup sounds a lot like signs, uh, especially with the animals, and um, I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> Alrighty, boys, we're here, ready at the scene of the crime. I'm not looking forward to this. Oh, that's, um, that is definitely some lights in the sky. You know what? It could, it could be anything. It could be uh, Elon Musk's uh, new satellites. Yep. All right, well, at least we got those. Sherman's house, all right. Oh God, there's a cornfield. That's already already making me a little nervous. I hate cornfields. You know what? I just, I hate corn in general. It's, it stays in your shit and it's, it's, it's not great. I'm, I'm just gonna keep moving. <clears throat> Farmer's note. Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other, but be careful. Peter Sherman. Ah, oh, well, I'm sure his daughter going missing has nothing to do with uh, aliens. All right, inspect the house. Did my man just leave milk out? Dude, that would stink. No wonder there's aliens around here. Alrighty, let's have a look around, shall we? Oh, they look like such a nice, happy family. Too bad they're probably all dead. Oh, look at the doggo. What a cute little papa. Bruh, they just got photos like this up? Are they sleeping here? How are you sleeping here with stuff like that? Ah, uh, I see he's a, uh, a Reddit hermit. Probably been on a bit of the 4chans. I've learned a lot about these things. They're called the greys. They are not little green men, but big, creepy, dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following ways. A large head, disproportionate to the body. No hair, bottomless black eyes, gray skin, long, thin limbs. Oh boy, their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. All right, after reading this, I am a little spooked. Is there something over there? I'm, I'm seeing things. I'm, my, I'm like trying to look for it now. Aww. Oh, I don't like this. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise when I came in. She wasn't in her bed and the windows was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. Bruh, I'd be like, she's fended for herself. Oh, what a, what a, what a cute little drawing. I take that back immediately. E.T. is not very friendly. Walkie talkie. Apparently it belonged to the missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear strange sounds. Yeah, this is definitely giving me signs vibes. And the music is very eerie and I don't like it. Alrighty, I'm going to head back downstairs because I don't want to be here any longer. Can I use the phone at all? Phone not working. Well, that's just great. Well, I've inspected the house, so um, let's just uh, continue on, shall we? Oh boy. I've got my fans on right now, so I feel like I'm actually in the wind. <laughs> it's making it way too immersive. 
Right, I don't have a flashlight or anything. Alrighty, well, apparently I'm missing something. I just don't know what exactly that is. It's still telling me to inspect the house. Well, I've, I've clearly missed something. Hello? Oh, did I need to look at these printed photos? Yeah. My man's been on the internet way too long. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh... Ah, uh, yep. Ah, uh, the writings of a sane man. That's it. <laughs> Wait a minute. He wrote this when he was 15? Okay, that's a little bit freaky. Take photo with the diary. Ah, uh, that's probably what I was forgetting, right? Oh. Oh. Oh, nah. Oh, hell nah. Not flashlights, and they're gonna make me go through the cornfield with it, aren't they? Uh, oh. uh, I have chills. Hello? E.T. Why did I decide to play this at 1 a.m.? That chair. It could just be the breeze. It could just be a big gust of wind. Uh, that that lamp too. Yep. You know, uh, storm season. Am I right? That door was not open before. Aha! Uh -huh, my my favorite show. Yep. My 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 favorite show. Ooh! It's a it's a cheeky little alien movie. That's good. You know, perfect time just to sit down and watch some, some TV. You know, put on the Netflix. Nothing nothing bad going on outside. Of it. Mm -mm. Honestly, I'm pretty fascinated. Terrible picture quality though. What is this? What what ten P? Is that from the TV? does that say farmer's note as a child headaches began to bother me they tortured me to this day i had dozens of headaches but no one would explain it for no reason so from his abduction he reckons that the migraine started i'm sure they implanted something some kind of transmitter oh a jar with a strange device all right maybe he did get a probe up the ass dead farm animals yeah that that, that could be anything Okay, all right. I just want to make sure I fully investigate this properly. I don't want to investigate it, but I think I need to. Is that everything in here? I think it is. Uh, uh, <laughs> I want to play this, man. I don't do well with horror. <laughs> Bro, this is just like signs and I don't like it. Oh god, if they're gonna be in the cornfield like signs, I'm gonna fing cry. Okay, there's more dots now. That is not good. What the f that's my that's my van alarm, right? Oh boy. Hello? <laughs> Nope. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Run to the car, run to the car. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my fucking god, oh my fucking god. Get in, get in, get in. Drive! Oh my god, oh my god, this is the worst, this is the worst time. Oh no. Oh no, no! I really hope that's just like Rick and Morty or something. Elon Musk has been busy, boys. Oh my. <laughs> God damn it, that was just. 
Canadian aliens. In the full game, you will find a large territory of the Greywoods farm and a full story of the alien abduction. Well, honestly, that was a pretty fun demo. It was terrifying. It very much was inspired by signs, but being able to be in that environment and being able to like actually walk around, terrifying. I am just not okay. Uh, thank you so much for watching though, guys. Make sure you drop a like, leave a comment below, and I'll uh, see you in the next video. Peace.